and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Demir Mill. That's right, we're bringing some Mill to the table here today. We are uh, playing uh, a Throwback Thursday stream today. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm calling it, Throwback Thursday. What that entails is we're building decks around different rares and mythics that are going to be rotating out this fall, which is in about seven weeks from now, um, that didn't get to see very much play in Standard, but were ones that I wanted to at least play a league with them before they rotate out of Standard. So far with the Mono Black Aggro, that one and the Jund Reanimate, both of those decks looked really impressive. I threw one of the games with Jund Reanimate, which is why I was the 2-2 instead of better. But both those decks were pretty impressive. Jund, or, uh, yeah, Jund Reanimate was was uh, built around Rowdy Crew, that awesome Ixalan mythic. And uh, Mono Black Aggro, we had um, both uh, Ruin Raider. There we go. I, I, was, I was thinking Risen Reef, but Ruin Raider. Okay, that card. Um, and Dreadshade, those two cool ones. For Demir Mill here, uh, the card that I you know caught my eye that I wanted to kind of build around was Patient Rebuilding. I always thought this enchantment was kind of better better than what it, it uh, got credit for. Five-man enchantment here. It doesn't do anything the first turn you play it, but at the beginning of your upkeep, so after you untap with it, then target opponent mills three cards, and you draw a card for each land card put into a graveyard this way. So it's very slow, very, very slow, but it's it's continued card advantage that can really add up. You know, like Let's say they mill over two lands. You, you draw two cards. The next turn, then the next turn, they mill over one more land. You draw another card. The next, the next turn, they mill over two more lands. You draw two more cards. So you know, it just continues your card advantage, and uh, gradually mills the opponent out. I started with four uh, here, and I was kind of like uh, test, you know, with like the first edition, and I was playing games earlier today, kind of testing the deck out and and tune in and everything. And I'm, we're just playing two um, with the patient rebuildings, but still a cool card. And uh, wanted to, you know, want to try it out here. And plus, who doesn't, who doesn't like mill decks? I guess Jay. Jay doesn't like mill decks. Um, but yeah, looks like a lot, of, a lot of people like mill decks and everything. So you know, let's play some mill and standard here. So besides the patient rebuilding, we have Jace, wielder of mysteries, to mill two cards and draw a card for us. So this is our card advantage engine, also that slowly mills the opponent. That's what these do. Ashiok mills the opponent quicker, milling four cards a time but doesn't provide any card advantage. So we just got the three Ashioks in here. Um, not going to be very good against creature decks, but against uh, control and against like scape shifts, we're going to want these Ashioks in here. Uh, to to go along with those, we just have a, a bevy of removal spells, as you can tell here. Um, Legion's End is one of the best cards in standard right now. Contempt, Ritual of Soot, Cry, you know, just a bunch of removal spells. So we're going to be a, a control deck trying to slowly mill our opponent out. Got a little bit of life gain with the Enter the God Eternals. Also, mills the opponent for four. So, you know, that works too. All right, so let's give this a try. This is a janky one for sure. It may not... Not expecting this one to do super well, but we're going to see. See if we can get to five wins in the, the league before we get to two losses. Here we go, Demir Mill. You're saying four wins? That would be some success right there. Paul goes five wins for sure. All right. <laughs> Zero wins. We want, so we're not going to be very good against aggro decks. So spoiler there, mill decks aren't good against aggro. <laughs> we want to face other control decks and scape shift wouldn't really be a bad thing to face either with having these Ashioks in the main. That's where we'd want our matchups to be. We're going to win one against the Moldafor. Turn one land or elf. I kind of want to just play Search for Escanta here. Nah.
That's a good one. Well, I, I certainly wish Cry of the Carnarium was Ritual of Soot in this kind of matchup here. So we can Legion's End, the Wild Growth Walker. I don't I don't know why our opponent would not want to play Wild Growth Walker first. But we'll just cry those things away. Could go Jace here. I'll do this plus has Kanta. Citadel. We're going to mill over those cards. Oh no, they're going to Citadel next turn. This is all just to know how you play the hand you're dealt. Don't want to mill over lands, we want to mill over spells. We want them to have lands on top, but yeah, Citadel, of course, is great against us. We don't pressure their life total at all, so they just have infinite life to spend on the Citadel. And I don't It's a matter of give and take. I am that which you behold. I must go. What is this has been a nightmare. All right, so they're at thirty six cards. We're going to need to find some sweepers, most likely, here. Hmm. They should. I wasn't actually planning on killing that with the Noxious Grass, but it looks like they're not doing anything here. Yeah, they're not doing anything. Um, what is this? That put me to sixth. So that does not flip as Kanta. So I'm just going to keep this on top. It's always an answer. Ooh. It's kind of working. They've had two horrific this. Citadel turns. They didn't play anything. Like that whole turn, they had three cards in hand and like they can cast stuff for free off the top of their library. All right, here they go. And here they go. We need to find sweepers. No. All right, I may need to contempt this thing. This wild growth walker here. All right, ritual of soot. We got three in the deck. We haven't seen one yet. I should have just contempted it end step, shouldn't I? I basically I was saving contempt because of of uh, 
I was thinking it was good to save Contempt. Because of Nyssa. This will come in handy. He's definitely scared of Nyssa. That's convenient. Never mind. Perfect. Played perfectly. Still have Contempt available. They're down to 14 cards. Played perfectly. <laughs> I think we're I think we're doing it. I think we did it. Time to step out of the shadows. Don't be right dreams again. So is this, okay, this is just I draw seven. Um, Sweet. I'm gonna Ashiaki them again. Okay. So far, so good. Two more Grasp, another Legion's End. A Command the Dread Horde. Maybe in. Command the Dread Horde does seem pretty awesome against them. Unless, um,. You know, unless I have Ashiok. I think I want to take out Ashiok. Do I want to take out Ashiok? Kind of want to take out Ashiok. You know, against the creatures. Ashiok just... You know, basically we had already stabilized and killed all their creatures, and that's why Ashiok looked good. But it does... It is very vulnerable to getting attacked. No, Ashiok and Dreadhorde don't work too well together. I wonder if my opponent's going to have Dreadhorde. That's the thing that I'm not sure. If they're going to have Dreadhorde, obviously I want to keep these Ashioks, but I'm no, I don't know if they will or not. Ether Gust is good. Is Deckmaster not working? It, it may not be working. I don't know. It's been it's been off and on the la like the last week. Hmm. I'll just give this a try. Oh, okay. The person, the person that run that runs deck deckmaster is on vacation right now. Stream decker works best best for you on Internet Explorer. That is kind of annoying. What? Yeah, mono black actually lost to another mono black deck. We lost to mono black vampires. Um, just. 
couldn't kill the 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 flying vampire that grows whenever you gain life. Couldn't kill that thing. And gruesome menagerie messed us up the third game, bringing a bunch of stuff back. But yeah, so we lost to another mono black vampire deck. So probably green. Like probably Veil of Summer here. But I can't stop it. Yep. Yeah, Bloodthirsty Aerialist, that card. We beat regular vampires in the league. All right, if I knew by turn three we would draw nothing but lands and a patient rebuilding, probably would have mulliganed this. It's like the opponent's not scared of ritual soot. Probably because we can't draw it. I've got them all figured out. Decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, opt isn't bad. Gives us a couple more looks at a ritual of sets. Citadel already. Their hand is awesome. We're probably dead. That's 9, 10, 11. Yep, now we're dead. Hey, Phoenix. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. Take out like Thought Erasure? No. Oh, we have so much removal in here. We do have just a ton of removal in here. I think I should ego I should ego Bolus of Citadel. Maybe I don't need to enter the God Eternals. I do like how Enter the God Eternals just blocks like all their crappy three twos and stuff though. I don't think I want ego for Citadel. Yeah, I thought about um Definitely thought about playing uh, the Command the Dread Horde. I had it in like the second game, but I, for game two there, but I'm taking it back out, get a little bit more removal in here.
So I just don't have anything about Vela Summer, do I? I don't have anything to do about Veil vale Summer. Uh, they didn't play Veil vale of Summer. They have two of them. I mean, I guess I just take one. I want to draw Jace, that's what I want to draw. The Veil vale Summer is so good against me. Interesting, they took Thought Erasure. That's pretty surprising. Thought Erasure. It's certainly more difficult whenever I don't have Jace. Jace. Patient rebuilding would be a good one, too. Oh, great Jade Light for our opponent, getting them, you know, being a draw, too. You know, I'd rather be a 4-3 because it's not going to attack me at all. It's not going to hit me. That's it. So that's a great Jade Light. Because I'm something makes it really easy to sacrifice lands to Vraska. Jace or patient rebuilding? <laughs> Only a fool stands in my way. Everyone is expendable except me. Man, they have nothing if we just draw. Just draw Jace or Patient Rebuilding. Come on, deck. You can do it. No. I 
Or search for his Kanta. Let's draw search for his Kanta, too. This is neither. It's not a donation deck, but we're not playing ranked either. We have all the opportunity to pull ahead if we just find... One of those cards. Where are you at, Jace? Not lands. Oh, the wrong, wrong color kitty. We need the black cat. We are lucky black cat. Next turn, lucky black cat. I think Drawn from Dreams is a much better card than Chemistry's Insight. Why do you want me to stop playing the land? Never know if we draw Jace into something else. I mean, having the land out there, you know, could, like, you want having the land so, like, they cast their discard spell. My opponent's been flooding out really bad, too. Like, it's just both of us here. Patient rebuilding! Let's do it. Of course, them drawing all their lands is, is worse for my rebuilding, of course, because, like, whenever rebuilding mills over lands, I draw cards. Rebuilding, you have your time to shine. See, that's, that's what Throwback Thursday is all about. Let's get these rares. Let's show off some, some rares before they rotate out. Here we go. Mill over some cards. Miller, any lands? One land. Ooh, and Anissa. Draw an extra card. Look at that. That's a pretty good extra card to draw, too. How about that? I'd love a good puzzle. Right, go and mill over a couple more. Spells. Let's Spell. Try. Spell. Oh, yeah. Love seeing that trophy. Back in the game. We're down to 25 cards. We're milling five a turn between these two. Now we've got a fight on our hands. We are doing it. One. All right, one land. Draw an extra card. Draw a card for turn. Yeah, get rid of another Nissa. I can certainly see Veil of Summer here. No, nope, they've been just chilling, holding this Wild Growth Walker. See a swamp. Sure, I don't know.
We're doing it. We are doing it. All right, patient rebuilding. Mill over three more. All right, no lands. We don't get to draw any extras, but those are all good cards to get rid of. Oh, another rebuilding. There's always an answer. We have found our pocket of rebuildings and jaces now. Um, 14 cards. So next turn, this is going to be six. Yeah. Are they your memories or mine? Decisions, decisions, decisions. They're at 12. I'm mill over 10 next turn. So I have one, one more draw step after this card. Boom. Okay. Demir Mill with a win. Opponent drew worse than us. <laughs> All right, so not the worst deck ever. Picked up a win. Five win dream is still alive. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Whoever said zero wins. Foot in mouth. That was our first match, yep. 100% win rate. We should probably just quit quit here. The asterisk just shows what deck we're playing. The deck we're currently on for somebody tuning in. All right, so if this is creature aggro, this will be really bad. But if this is... If this is scape shift, this is awesome. If this is control, this is still pretty good. Come on, scape shift. No. Oh, this is bad. I mean, I need card advantage, right? And keep this, hopefully, draw. Removal here, sweepers, cry the carnarium, ritual of soot. Each of them's not bad. That one's not bad either. They have binding for Jace. That's rude. Ah, uh, they scry to the bottom. I was hoping they're gonna scry to the top. So Jace goes to five loyalty. So if I play Jace here, they can attack Jace for two and then sack a sack a vampire to Soren. I could just Legion's end these vampires away. How silly would that be? I mean, basically trades with two legions ends or legions landings. I mean, or I play Ashiok. No, let's. Yeah, Ixalan's binding is is a killer. I need them to like binding Ashiok and not binding Jace. I just need to draw cards, though. I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this Exelon binding. Figure a way out of this. It's a matter of give and take. Gosh, another Exelon's binding. And yeah, of course they have the. Oh, I could draw a Thought Erasure. That's what I could draw. Before they draw land. Depart 
They have the Mortify for this awesome enchantment. Like, why can't they just play, like, cast downs? Where are their cast downs at? Oh, not a bad land. How you play the hand you I, I meant to play Blast Zone, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Alright, we're going down to 41 cards. Yeah, multiple main deck Ixalons binding. That's a killer. Come on, Thought Erasure. Let's think this nope. I leave you. Another day. I lost my appetite. So yeah, that gets mortified, but that, that takes their turn, right? If they're casting Mortify, they're not doing anything else with their turn. They're not casting Binding on my Jace. Yeah, Ashiok is. Yeah, Ashiok the un unusually loud, yeah. I don't know. Oh no! Welcome oh, that's like the worst. Vampire to see. This will come in handy. Behold. They're at 26. So yeah, play another Ashok even though I'm planning on putting Blast Zone on three here. Momentary setback. I want to do that right now so they don't have the icon of ancestry to go look for more cards. This wasn't my fight anyway. Draw some lands. Do that. Draw some lands. Ugh. Not things that replace themselves. Draw lands. Ugh. Gross. Already lost. You just did. let's try this. Ooh, those are two good ones right there. Um, how many lands did I mill over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, I have milled over twelve lands, so seventeen lands so far. Um, it's like better to have Ascanta in play. But I may need to contempt something. Uh, we'll just get Ascanta in play. Well. That helps me mill him. 
Maybe we'll find Ritual of Soot. We haven't seen a Soot yet, have we? No, we haven't seen a Soot yet. I should have drawn with Jace first. It's always you always just draw your card first. Jace. See what see what happens. <sighs> Dismal backwater. Killing me. So they know about the Legion's End, which makes me want to cast Legion's End right now. But Legion's End also just only costs two mana instead of, you know, it's better to cast the four mana card, I would think. Um, oh, that thing just... That thing with the blood, I didn't, I didn't consider the bloodthirsty aerialist with that. Yeah, gotta get rid of that. Thanks, Sothian. Okay, so we have more information. Ritual of Sit. So that just digs another card. So if that's Kanta activation here, gotta find something for this champion. You know what'd be really good right now? Enter the God Eternals. Enter the God Eternals would be really nice. Enter the God Eternals. So Soot kills the Knight. I guess that's better than Thought Erasure. Let's try this. That's good. That's good. I, mean, I guess I should sit first, I suppose. Whatever, it's four life. And the four life just doesn't doesn't matter too much. Destroy the destroy the Exxon's binding in response. So they have they have the Dante the first fort, so they'll, still, they'll make some one ones here. Ugh. We're pretty close. So they draw like a land. I mean, actually, yeah, they have four cards, three cards. They get one more turn.
Yeah, second match, but first, yeah, first game of the match. Yeah, game one. So they get one draw step. They have to do nine damage next turn. It's a matter of give and take. <laughs> we be vampires. All right, the whole play a bunch of Ixalan's binding thing, that's kind of that's kind of BS. Right? Like what what are we doing over here? Why are we playing Ixalan's binding? <laughs> Killing me. I can't cast it. I couldn't cast Ashiok. I was I got pretty lucky that my opponent like I was definitely lucky that my opponent binding the Ashiok and not binding the Jace. They could have attacked Ashiok and binding Jace. That would have been a lot worse for me. So yeah, we could we could have put in duress to try to duress away binding. Dress just hits like their their removal spells, binding mortify, like they have to just kind of sit back and hold those things anyway. But we need lots of removal for their deck. Like like removal over and over and over again. Also. <laughs> Ego the bindings. So if we play this, what what would we want Duress over? Would I rather play Duress over Noxious Grasp? No. We saw... They were playing four Mana Sorin. They had multiple four Mana Sorins. Maybe I need to keep these Ashioks in here, though. I mean, I, I could just ditch the enchantments. And try to blank mortify. Done, 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 done. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't know if I clicked it in time. Oh man, I went really quick. I went really fast there, ditching the enchantments and trying to get trying to blank mortify. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if I actually submitted or not. I'll be close. Made that decision. The last second. That was risky there. Yeah, find out next week. <laughs> did we did we hit submit in time? I don't even know how we'll tell. Well, I only had one or yeah, so I don't even know how we'll tell. I guess we'll find out if. The best noise ever right there. Thank you so much, Silence. Silence UK with the sub. Everybody get your hype votes in the channel. For our new sub king, there. And it will be your end. I bestow a mighty curse. Okay, so we did not hit submit in time. They got us Kanta. Ugh, so nope, this is this is our game one deck. Okay. So no no sideboard here. All right, come on, draw land. We need to draw land. This yeah. 
Did they brick? Pass turn? Ooh, pass turn. Card advantage. We'll make this look easy. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. Alright. Good good mill over two spells. Draw draw a spell. Always good to mill over two spells. So I could I could thought erasure to see if this is mortify, and then just Ashiok. I guess that's the thing to do. The thought erasure is not going to gain any any more value. Sure, I'll keep that. Even though, with their hand currently as is, patient rebuilding was the better card for us to see. Ooh, milled over four spells. Love it. So how many lands so far? Six, seven, eight. Only eight spells so far. Or sorry, eight lands. So good chance that's a land. Oh, it's a sword. Oh, wow, that Ashiok play was clutch. Oh, that was clutch. Who knew how clutch that was? I should just cast this. Uh, sure. Nice. Love it. All those spells. That was a four spell Ashiok there. Man, we're getting lucky here. We've only milled over two lands. Whew, that's good. That's really good for our patient rebuilding too. No, there's no lands there. All right, didn't draw anything extra. That's fine. You don't have like an ultimate, do you? No. There's only... Man, we are doing it. All right, they're down 19 cards. Books of Magic. Joining the party. Everybody get some hype boats in the chat for our new sub there. Thanks so much for that support there, Books of Magic. Wow. Beating the best deck in the format with Mill. The best deck, the best aggro deck with Mill, and we did it sideboard. Wow. Two wins. Two wins. Mill House. <laughs> Hypotical, joining the party. Everybody get those hype boats still in here. Let's get that armada going. Thanks so much there, Hypotical. And we are 2-0. and oh. Yeah, why board out the enchantments when you get his mill over um, Mortify? Good call. This is basically what our hand looked like against the vampires the first time. But maybe we're playing against control and this Ashiok does good or against Scapeshift. <laughs> in before mirror. Oh no, not flash. Or mono blue. Uh Soul Tie Flash. Okay, well it was fun. No, milling Nexus never works. Nexus doesn't hit the graveyard. Nice. So now we we have a a weakness to Nexus. We also are playing a bunch of very expensive spells, so 
Uh, flash decks are built to prey on a bunch of expensive spells. Hopefully our opponent has a bunch of removal, though. Lands and removal in hand. Yeah, scry that thing to the top. Do it. You know that card's going to... You know you're going to be drawing that card. Resolve? Come on, resolve. Come on, resolve. Come on, resolve. Ooh, okay, we got a chance. We got a chance. Still not a great chance. Uh, they kept Brineborn Cutthroat. Mm, that was that was a bad four cards to mill over. Those are those are all all four of those are cards we want them to draw. All right, so this is where it's going to get hard. Here is the four drops. Yeah, frilled mystic, frilled mystics and doggies. Okay, well, we've milled over two dogs. So that's good. Casting Thought Erasure just gives them a... So basically, if they have a Wolfpack Ambusher, I want to cast Thought Erasure. If they have Frilled Mystics, I do not want to cast Thought Erasure. We've gotten rid of two Ambushers, no Frilled Mystics. Uh, if they have both, I do want to cast Thought Erasure, because I don't want them to play the Wolf. So I could... All right, still, I don't think we're gonna win this. Now we went too, we went too long of drawing too many lands. No. I, th I was feeling okay about it once we resolved the Jays, but this is, this has just been way too many lands here. They had the other two wolves in hand. Ugh. Wolf is such a hard card to beat. I have like a couple cast downs that maybe we could draw. Yeah, the flash flash deck's hard to beat. I don't mind it. I don't I don't hate playing against this. I know some people get a lot more annoyed at playing against this deck than what I do. I don't mind it at all. We can't have, you know, like eleven lands or whatever we just drew there though. That's for sure. All right, duress, ether gust, noxious grasps. We have some good, good, good cyborg cards at least. So yeah, that that looks good. Um, I like ego. Yeah, maybe the counter ego and stuff too. But like, what if we just ego away like the, the wolves? Um. Yeah, rebuilding does seem really expensive. I mean, all these cards seem really expensive. I mean, come on, Enter the God Eternals isn't ever resolving. What are we doing? Let's get that thing out of here. 
Can we cut a land? Can you do Ashiox not matter? Ashiox kind of don't matter here. We'll take out Ashiox. And then Cry is good because it hits... Cry hits Frilled Mystic with these other things, but we also have Noxious Grasp and Cast Down. I want I want to trim some Cry Soots. Like these things are pretty expensive. Um, Cry doesn't like always kill like like their two one, or a Soot does kill the two one. The Cutthroat. Maybe we keep crying because we have the Legion's End, which Legion's End hits the 2-1. Um, I kind of have to take some stuff out. Okay. Blast Zone seems like it could be good, right? Like, they can't counter Blast Zone. Alright, I'm going to opt for land. Yeah, rebuilding super slow, but that's the thing. The matchup can be really slow, especially if we get rid of, like, the wolves and stuff. It can be a really slow matchup. Um, you know, obviously, if rebuilding gets countered, that's bad for us. Alright, this was the only non-land that I was going to keep. Just because my deck right now is very, very reliant on Jace. How I have this specific setup. So I, I don't think I can get... I don't think I can bottom Jace, basically. Is what I'm saying there. Um, well, let's get rid of the wolf. I mean, I, do I want to let them keep wolf and unmoored ego wolf away? So basically, Cer they have ceratops or a random card. Okay, like a random, like, ceratops is probably better than a random card, right? So let's... So they just drew two mana counter. That'd be sad. Uh, nope, that's not it. Night pack ambusher. All right, let's see what else they got in here before we take this last one. Uh, syncopate negate. How many counter spells do they have? It's good to know. One syncopate, one negate, one sabotage, two sabotage, two negate, three negate, three sabotage, two syncopate, four sabotage. It's a lot of counters. So two syncopate, three negate, four sabotage, four frill mystic. One, one Veil of Summer, one Veil of Summer. Oh, it's four negates? All right, come on, draw land. Yeah. Down, 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 down. No! Darn. I mean, it's not... 
It doesn't get better for us with the Jace, right? So it's just like, it's just slamming it's the way to go because it doesn't get better for us. Such a difference in this game if that's not countered. Okay. Okay. We're gonna save this till we have like another Jace, like where we're gonna like Thought Erasure plus Jace. Like I don't care about Tyrant Scorn, so it's just one card here. Give them some more more turns to like draw the counter spell. I guess if they do have counter spell here, then I don't get to kill the Ceratops and then I'm in trouble. So I guess I should untap and then Thought Erasure, then cast down. Because if they have Negate. Oh, they had Frilled Mystic. Yeah, get that thing out of here. So good, good hit with the Thought Erasure. <laughs> You're trying to bounce your own pro blue shifting ceratops? That's not going to work. More Hawkeye. Hawkeye, we need, we need to find another Jace. That card is hecka good. That card's probably going to kill us. No, no, no. Oh, thank you. Just stopped on my end step. Oh, barely got that in there. The one Veil of Summer? Jeez. All right, two and one. Oh, they had two Veil? Okay, well, they had one of them there. Spectral Sailor just draws tons of cards there. That card's hard to beat. I needed I needed that one draw that they had to not be a counter spell and us resolve Jace. There, you know, I need I needed that kind of card advantage. We didn't didn't get that. Okay, where are you going? Need your luck, Hawkeye. All right, so we're 2-1. Still not bad. You quit so fast. Well, we had absolutely nothing. Our opponent was going to be able to... Um, draw a bunch more cards with the Spectral Sailor there. The game was very over. Hey, what's up, Vance? Well, I hope this is Control, not another Flash deck. Not another, like, you know, bunch of Counter Spells deck. I can't, can't really handle that. <laughs> Uh, thanks so much for that resub there. So Vance joining in this party. That's sub number... Oh, it's sub number 17? According to MTG bot. Looks like I was one behind. Um, 
Blue, red. Let's get Blast Zone in play, actually. Get a counter on the Blast Zone here. So we have nothing else to do with the mana. So, bad news, this looks like Phoenix. So if we, like, mill them, they we could mill over Phoenix and they get him back. Good news is, like, Ashiok is, will be good in this matchup. The real Smoy. Staying on that three-month streak. Hey, Shadows. Going good. We're having fun today with some janky decks. And have been doing really well with them, too. Okay. Um, Optus is just a good card. Just keep that. I probably, I probably want to Contempt the Saheeli, though. No, I should save Contempt for Phoenix, shouldn't I? Let's see what we get here. Yeah, sure. They make a bunch of tokens with Saheeli. I'm going to pop put this blast zone up to 3. I guess I I guess I just shouldn't cast opt there because if they just hard cast Phoenix. I want to contempt it right away. I wasn't really expecting them to do that though. I didn't really want another ritual set. The first one was, was fine. Of course, you, know, you may be thinking, well, why don't you just do that first before they play their spells? Well, their their spells are instants. If I just do, whenever I do the blast zone, they're just going to respond and uh, cast their instants. So that one I want to enter the God Eternals away. Again, I want to Contempt Phoenix. It's possible I should mill myself over. Not mill over Phoenix. And also make it so we flip as Kanta immediately. That's a good card. I'll take that. Those cards weren't spectacular or anything. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. Ramo, Ramo. So if we're thinking about activating as Kanto, we'd only have three mana here. So not Ritual of Set Time yet. Or Contempt. Could Contempt to Healy though, because we do have Cry. Ooh. Um... Yeah. 
And then that means I'm gonna decline flipping Ascanta. So I don't I don't need that extra mana that Ascanta provides for this turn. This should draw me a lot of cards. Worst thing that we can see here is like Crackling Drake, Sahili minus the Crackling Drake. Like that's something we do not want to see at all. Hmm. Yeah, I had to say something. Do you want to draw another land here? Because I want to be able to double spell with these. I think I need to contempt Drake and then also want to like soot. I want to contempt and soot. So I want to save Cry. I want to mill over a bunch of lands. Okay, I'll take I'll take Crackling Drake and two lands. Okay, I'll take that. And then, we'll... all right. So now, obviously, we know we have land drops, so we do not need this land. All right, so three Crackling Drakes gone. That's good. No, don't have a counter spell. I'll unsummon. Jeez. That's really bad. Now I gotta find some other way to kill this crackling drake. All over a bunch of lands, not spells. <laughs> I don't want to grow Crackling Drake. Yeah, land. Okay, well, one land. Um. I should activate this. Pretty dead here. I can't actually survive. Oh wait, my opponent can't cast shock. Never mind. They can't actually shock me. So... Maybe this deck just doesn't have Phoenix if they're playing Terramanders and Crackling Drakes. Maybe this is just Drakes. So this is going to be number 9, 10, 11, 12. Jeez. Thirteen. <sighs> this is very terrifying, and of course they have the unsummon to save their crackling drake. Hmm. 
Okay. Game number two. All right, let's get Crackling Drake the heck out of here. That card is so hard to deal with. Crackling Drake and, and uh, Phoenix. Like, they don't play very many threats. So, like, getting rid of their, their threats is very good. Ether Gust is good. We do not need a Legion's End. We don't need Cast Down. What am I saying? We need Cast Down. I meant Noxious Grasp. We don't need Noxious Grasp. So the problem with getting rid of all like the Soots and stuff, though, Soots and Legion's Ends, is, of course, the Sahili. Um, keeping a couple Cries, I don't know if that'll be enough for Sahili. Oh, yeah. Definitely all four Ashiogs here. For sure. Maybe I take out a Rebuilding or a Jace. I mean, it's... Because Cry the Carnarium, because if they do have Arc Light Phoenix, Cry the Carnarium gets rid of Arc Light Phoenix. We didn't see Arc Light Phoenix there, but that doesn't mean it's not in their deck. But that's why that's why I keep being Cry over Legion's Ender so it... Oh, they have Terramander too, though. I forgot about Terramander. Maybe I should I should have probably kept in a set. Next week's Throwback Thursday, I know I'm going to be doing... I'm doing the three color mythics. We're doing Admiral Becca Brass, Muldratha, Arcades. And one of the other ones, I don't know, like Daragaz or something. Whoa, where are all these Thought Erasures coming from? I'm not sure if the mouse over the mouse over overlay is working or not. I'm I'm just not sure. It may be. I don't know. Just give me Charter Course or Negate. I'll take Charter Course. Do not want them to find threats. That's fine. Perfect, Fiery Aspen. Okay, four good cards there. This is difficult to digest. We just hit Terramander, Charter Course, Tormenting Voice, Radical Idea. It's pretty good. They do have a bunch of velocity in their deck too, so yeah, like they're they're you know drawing a lot of cards and everything, which helps our mill plan. Each each card they draw lowers their life total. You know, their life total is at 41 right now. 
<laughs> Terramander is not so... Uh, it's not so scary when it basically can only be a 1-1. One -one. Ooh, Niv-Mizzet. Yeah, I think this is just Drake's. I don't think there. this is Phoenix. No. That's good, getting Niv-Mizzet mm -hmm. out here. <clears throat> <laughs> um Life total is 35 now. Life total 34. Of course, Crackling Drake counts. Exile also. Which is lame. Wish it didn't. Deckmaster is back up and working. Awesome. That's unfortunate we're not flipping the Escanta here. They have another unsummon. These unsummons are killing me. Man, they are all about these unsummons. I mean, it's, it's kind of better for them than dive down because they get to draw another card whenever they play the card again. It's three on summons. All right, their life total is 29. Mine's at 22. Definitely lucky there's no negate there. So the biggest thing though is we didn't we didn't mill over crackling drakes. Darn it. So I was gonna say like they probably they could have more crackling drakes because we didn't mill them over. Hmm. Uh, 26. Maybe we should have just kept that land so they could activate Ascanta and still play Ashiok. No, yeah, Drake's didn't really get anything new. Doesn't mean the Crackling Drake's not still a hell of a card. They did they did a very good job of drawing all their Crackling Drakes and me not milling them out milling them over. That was unfortunate. Yeah, Crackling Drake counts exile, so. That's, I mean, that's just a Crackling Drake's just a really tough card to deal with. You know, like these days, Legion's End, Cry the Carnarium, Ritual of Soot, these are all just really good cards to be playing. You know, Noxious Grasp also. 
and crackling drake just dodges like everything you know like we only have a couple cast downs and a few contempts and so mention the god eternals i guess too but you know whenever they play crackling drake they unsummon it play it again play another one that's tough it's tough to deal with all of those um but still a pretty good showing here for the demir mill deck we'll take a two and two um yeah it was pretty sweet we didn't even play any control or like we didn't play against any control right yeah we didn't play against any control we didn't play against scape shift the matchups that we wanted to, to face so we beat a couple aggro decks including black white vampires so that was a good good sign there um so yeah demir mill of course is going to have some holes it's a, it's a mill deck, right? It's not going to be the best thing in the format, but it was. This is definitely a respectable deck to be playing if you want to be playing your. You want to be playing a mill deck. This is a a good option here if you want to have some fun with some mill. And we got to win a couple games with patient rebuilding. That's like the goal of today. Throwback Thursday, of course. Um, play rares. Uh, build around rares that are going to rotate out and let them see some see see the light of day before they leave standard. Um, so if you have any, uh, if you're watching this on on YouTube and you have any suggestions for cards to build around for future Throwback Thursdays, let me know in the comments. Um, like I've said before, we're going to be doing Admiral Becca Brass, Moldratha, Arcades. We'll be doing those next Thursday. But there are many more Thursdays here uh, to finish out August and the beginning of September before our next set comes in. And so this is what we're going to be doing here. Um, throwback Thursday. That's it here for D Demir Mill, though. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.